Oxford Bookworms, Stage Three. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, retold by Patrick Nobbs, read by Mark Straker. Published and copyright Oxford University Press, 1997. Chapter One. Captain, something is moving on the ice. Look over there. The sailor stood at the top of the mast, high above the captain. His hand pointed away from the ship, across the miles of ice that covered the sea. The captain looked to the north, where the sailor was pointing. He saw something coming fast towards the ship, across the ice. He put his telescope to his eye, and through it. He could see the shapes of ten dogs pulling a sledge over the ice. He could also see the driver of the sledge, a huge figure, much bigger than a man. The sledge came nearer and nearer to the sea. Soon, it was only a quarter of a mile from the ship. No one needed a telescope. Now to see the huge figure of the driver. Suddenly, the sledge went behind a mountain of ice, and disappeared. At that moment, another sledge appeared. It too was moving fast, and was clearly chasing the first sledge. This driver was a smaller figure. More like an ordinary man. Faster and faster the dogs ran. Then the second sledge also disappeared behind the mountain of ice. Two hours passed. The sledges did not appear again. Nothing moved on the ice. Soon night came, and in the night there was a storm. In the morning, the sailors saw the great pieces of ice were floating round the ship. Suddenly, the sailor on the mast shouted again, "Captain, I can see a man on the ice." The sailor was pointing to a piece of ice that was floating near the ship. A man was sitting on the ice, and near him was a broken sledge. The man was nearly dead from cold, and could not walk. The sailors carried him carefully onto the ship, and took him to the captain, who said, "Welcome to my ship. I am the captain, and my name is Robert Walton." "Thank you, Captain Walton," the man said. "My name is Frankenstein, Victor Frankenstein." Then he fainted, and said no more. Two days passed before the man was strong enough to talk, and then the captain asked him to tell his story. "I am trying to catch someone," said Frankenstein. "That is why I have come so far north on the ice." "We saw you following someone," the captain said. "He was huge, much bigger than a man." We saw his sledge just in front of you on the night before the storm. I am pleased you all saw that huge figure, Frankenstein said. Perhaps that will help you to believe my story. During the days, while the captain worked on the ship, Frankenstein wrote down his story, and each evening he read what he had written to the captain. Here. Is Victor Frankenstein's story.